Today we're talking about 10 pistols and handguns in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies that got noobs ridiculously mind blown. If you can guess one pistol, drop it in the comments. And hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. We're just right around the corner for Call of Duty World War II. And I'm gonna have a ton of videos on that. So if you do end up subscribing, let me know in the comments so I can put you in my next video. But hey, today we're talking about top 10 pistols and handguns in Call of Duty Zombies. And it got noobs ridiculously mind blown. And coming in at our number 10 spot, we're talking about this thing called 5.7. Now, 5.7 is a mystery box weapon and uh, or mystery box uh, pistol, and it is in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. And we got two versions of it. The first version is the solo version. It's called the 5.7 for sure, and it's a solo pistol. Comes in with 20 ammo in the mag and 120 ammo in reserve. Don't know, do not even know why a tie by table. It's not like it got like uh, 2,000 ammo, right? But hey, when you pop this B, it still doesn't have 1,000 ammo, but it gets 20 ammo like it's the same as usual 20 ammo in the mag but 200 in the mag but the second version it's called the 57 dual wheel comes in with 15 ammo in the mag and 15 it basically it's ha it has 15 ammo in the each one so you get like 30 ammo and you get that sort of like bagel room if you know what I'm saying but the solo version has 20 but the dual wheel version has 15 in each making it so it has 30 so it gets like 10 ammo bump if you know what I'm saying and it has 215 ammo in reserve shits mind-blowing it, it got like noobs ridiculously mind-blown that that's all I'm gonna say but when you pack a punch it it comes in with 20 ammo in each one of those 5.7 dual wheel pistols so it has like 40 ammo in the mag if you get what I'm saying and 275 in reserve and it's called the ultra and violet and I personally like those green tips that we got on the iron sights and that's something that I did not like when we actually got M1911 back in Black Ops 3 Zombies with Zombies Chronicles if you know what I'm saying and it's just, just not my cup of tea but on 5.7 I really love those green tips. I feel like that's the reason why noobs got ridiculously mind blown. But coming in at our number 9 spot now this is the pistol or handgun that got noobs so mind blown alright. Uh, get ready for this one. It's called the RK5. It's a 500 points only handgun and it's in all of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies uh, starting room. So it's a 500 pistol or 500 points pistol rather and you can you can get it at any time basically and it comes in with 15 ammo in the mag and 120 in reserve. It's a burst pistol meaning it shoots three bullets every time you pull that trigger and trust me when you pack a punch it it gets news ridiculously mind blown. It's called the Rex Caliber 115 comes in with 30 ammo in the mag and 180 ammo in reserve and if you double pap it and if you get lucky you will get dead wire and trust me a lot of players have got to round 100 and even round 200 with Rex Caliber aka RK5 yes this shit got noobs ridiculously mind blown. But coming in at our number 8 spot, we're talking about the Bloodhound, which is like a Shadows of Evil starting room pistol. Wish it was in uh, Mob of the Dead as well, because this is something that we have seen in Mob of the Dead trailer or intro cinematic cutscene, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of like the Executioner, but uh, it's uh, like M1911, but on steroids, of course. And it's a little brother of the Executioner and Python, and it's called the Meat Wagons when you actually pack a punch it, and it comes with 8 ammo in each one of the bloodhound or meat wagons basically it has 16 ammo in total that you can fire and it has 48 ammo in reserve and shit is crazy AF and of course it's in shadows of evil so you actually get the shadows of evil pack punch camo and every time new see these things in action basically the the meat wagons the pack punch version every time new see these things in action they're like okay I'm gonna go full bozo on those zombies and seconds later they end up downing themselves and they're like well I'm not mind blown by this shit but coming in at our number 7 spot, we're talking about the Python 357. Now, Python 357 is in Black Ops 1, and we're not talking about that. We're talking about the Python that we have in Black Ops 2 Zombies. And this is, hand, hands down, like, this is one of my favorite pistols in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies. And it comes in with 6 ammo in that uh, magazine, or whatever you say it, and 84 in reserve. And when you pack punch it, it's called the Cobra, and it has 12 ammo in you know what, and 96 ammo in the reserve. Shit's crazy. Absolutely love this thing. And 
I would say like the Python 357 that we got in Black Ops 1. I may throw a little gameplay here and there of like Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, but all I want to say Python 357 that we have in Black Ops 1 looks a little bit more thick, if you know what I'm saying, compared to the Black Ops 2 Python. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe it's my FOV shit. But coming in at our number 6 spot, we're talking about the Barrett Pistol, which is called the Remington New Model Army. One of my favorite, once again, one of my favorite pistol in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies. It comes in with the same amount of ammo, believe it or not. And I was just like mind blown. Like, of course, noobs get mind blown all the time, but uh, hear me out. So it has uh, six ammo in that, you know, you know what I'm saying, and 84 once again in reserve. And when you pack punch it, it's called the Sasa Press, uh, and it has 12 ammo once again in you know what, and 96 ammo in the reserve. It's like Python on steroids, and it's like Illuminati confirmed. And it's like the same as my Nibba Python, and I'm not even sure what my man Jimmy Zelensky was thinking when he actually uh, poured that shit in. It's basically like the texture, and it's like, it's the Python basically, it's the Python. But this gets noobs ridiculously mind blown. Every time they get the bright pistol, they're like, okay, I'm gonna go full bozo on those zombies, and hey, uh, not two seconds later, but three seconds later, they end up downing themselves, and I'm like, okay, well, time to move on, on to the next one. But coming in at our number five spot, we're talking about the Executioner, which is just, mm, absolutely love this thing, and it has five ammo in the, in the mag, and 75 ammo in the reserve, and when you pack punch it, it's called the Voice of Justice, it comes in with the same amount of ammo in the, in the mag, it has five, but this time, 100 in Reezer and shit is crazy and hey even in Black Ops 2 zombies you can double pack punch the shit out of this gun and sometimes you get the FMG attachment sometimes you get that long barrel if you know what I'm saying and I'm gonna say hey if you can go with the long barrel attachment and it's so hard to actually tell if you got the long barrel attachment or FMG on your gun but at the same time if you see that muzzle a little bit long then you know you basically got the long barrel shit is crazy and I absolutely love this thing I wish we actually get it in uh, Black Ops 4 or whatever the next side uh, Treyarch title will be called. I really hope you get it in the next Treyarch game. But hey, at our number 4 spot, we're talking about Marshall 16 Dealville, which are like the big brothers of this thing called the Executioner and we have it in Zatsubunashima and that's only the downside about the Marshall 16 Dealville. I wish we actually had them in the Rise of Drach or even in uh, Shadows of Evil. I feel like that would have been super dope and even if we had them in uh, the Giant, I feel like that would have been like so so good but this shit actually got noobs mind blown and uh, basically it has two ammo in one of the marshall and two ammo in another one of the marshall basically marshall 16 dealville in total you got four ammo in the magazine and 134 ammo in the reserve and when you pack punch it it's called the parentvilles or however you say it villies <laughs> it's not villies but parentvilles and it has six ammo in uh, one of the marshall and six ammo in another one of the marshall basically you get 12 ammo in total and 208 in reserve and this shit shoots 2 ammo in total and you shoot 2 ammo all together and basically when you have the unpack punch version of Marshall 16 Dealville you shoot it once and then you reload you shoot it once again you reload and it's like executioner but you shoot 2 ammo of executioner in one go and of course when you pack punch it you get 6 ammo in that uh, Marshall so you actually can shoot 3 times or in total you can shoot 6 times because you got the deal will marshall if you know what i'm saying shit's crazy and it got a lot of noobs mind blown but coming in at our number three spot we're talking about the og m1911 and for this one i'm gonna have the m1911 from my boy call of duty black ops 1 and call of duty black ops 1 m1911 were just so fire uh, I really like the that the model, I really like the sound, I really like the reloading sound, the animation, and the shiny model is absolutely fire. And of course, it's a points weapon on the early rounds, especially when it's unpack punched, but when you pack punch it, it's called the Mustang and Sally, it comes in with 6 ammo in each one. Basically, you get 6 ammo in the Mustang and 6 more in the Sally, and in total you get 50 ammo in reserve, but in Black Ops 1, it creates that realistic smoke, which I absolutely adore, but it fades away ridiculously fast because of course we're talking about a video game but hey ultimately this is the one that got noobs ridiculously mind blown coming in at our number two spot we're talking about the e9 rift and e9 rift is like one of the best pistol in call of duty zombies of course that's at our number two spot so of course 
it's gonna be one of the best pistol in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies and we actually got it in uh, Revelations and it's only in Revelations and it got 12 ammo in the mag and 144 in Reaser and check this out it shoots two bullets all together and it's kind of like the Reagan Mark II but with the ELO side and when you pack punch it it's called the Elder Invader but hey it gets 68 ammo in the mag and 272 in Reaser and shit is ridiculously OP and it's basically like the Reagan Mark III as well but hey this top 10 wouldn't be over without having the Mauser C96 at number one and coming in at our number one spot we're talking about the Mauser C96 which is once again a points pistol on early rounds especially when you have it and pack a punch but when you pack a punch it it's called the Boomhilda it's like the Reagan Mark III and it has 50 ammo in the mag and 100 in reserve and it comes in with the 4x scope and the pack punch camo makes it look ridiculously OP and of course whenever noobs use this they get ridiculously mind blown but check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them subscribe if you're new to the channel smash a like if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon.